Hi guys, it's Andre from Convey of Randomness here, and today I'll show you an easy way to fix a loud overheating PlayStation 4. You may notice if you have a PlayStation 4, particularly the first generation model, that after a certain age the console may become loud and noisy. This is because over time dust collects inside the PlayStation 4, causing the system to overheat, which means obviously that the fans have to work harder to dissipate that heat. Overheating is a problem for the PlayStation 4 because if components overheat, this could cause hardware failures and drastically reduce the age of your PS4. Before following the steps I'm about to show you, it's best to try to reposition your PlayStation 4 to a more ventilated area just to see if that fixes the problem. But I'm sure that's the reason why you're here as you tried the ventilated area and it hasn't fixed the problem. As you can see, my PS4 moved to two more ventilated areas prior to me taking this action. This method of cleaning an overheating PS4 will involve opening up the PS4 to get to the fan. Please note that by releasing the screws to open up the PS4, this will void any warranty that you already have on the system. So please proceed with caution. What you're gonna need for this is a T8 screwdriver or the screwdriver attachment. I've obviously got the screwdriver attachment. And the next bit's optional. You can have a screwdriver or a knife, just something to be able to pry open a PlayStation 4. You don't actually need this, but it's totally optional. A small brush that we can need to brush out the fan, and a pump. This inflates and deflates, um, but you can also get compressed air in a can. On the back of the PlayStation, You'll see those T8 screws. There are four of them. One there, two in the middle, and another one at the end there. These are the ones that we want to remove just to be able to get the cover off. So if you flip the PlayStation over so the serial number is facing up. And you can just get your fingers underneath the back of the PlayStation and then just flick that cover straight up. So what we can see here is the optical drive, the fan assembly and the power supply module. And the part that's important for us is the power supply module. So first I'm going to identify the screws around the PlayStation that needs to be taken out. So I've got a few more T8 screws to take out. screws either side of the power supply module so you want to remove these and once that's done the power supply module is now free so you can just sort of wedge it out just be careful when you are wedging it out though this is why it's connecting the power supply module to the motherboard so you just want to keep an anchor on the left hand side just to prevent those wires from breaking and now the lower half of the fan is now exposed. This is the area of the fan that will dissipate the heat from the power supply module out of the PlayStation. Now we can look to bring the fan in and start getting some of that dust out. Getting in between all those grooves of the fan and the grooves below the fan as well, towards the power supply module. Knowing all the nooks and crannies around the PlayStation, you'll find that you'll be surprised all the places that you'll find the dust. And if you want a more intense clean, you can use the brush alongside the air. Follows, or instead of the brush, you can use a cloth. Here I've used a nicely branded PlayStation VR cloth, just to get any areas of, of dust around the PlayStation. And as you can see, I'm using this alongside the air. And once you're happy, just reverse the process of putting the PlayStation back again. Remember when you put the power supply module back in, just be careful that you don't damage those wires connecting to the motherboard. So once it's in, just make sure there's a firm fit in there. And finally, you can begin putting all the screws back. And you can also give it another wipe if it needs it. Now you can look to 
look to put the cover back onto the PlayStation. And finally, put the rest of those T8 screws back in. And hopefully, a job well done. And now you've got a lovely looking dust free PlayStation 4. Once you've put it all back together, following that step-by-step -step guide, put the PS4 under the same conditions to see if the fans come on singling overheating. If they don't, then you've done a good job. And if they do, a possible route to take is professional advice or buying a new PS4 if it starts to drastically affect performance. Hopefully, a new PS4 isn't the solution, particularly with a new PS5 around the corner. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, a subscription will be greatly appreciated. And press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.